So we call sadhu, sadhu, sadhu every day, right? This morning, many, many sadhus. Uh, this morning, <coughs> and all this <coughs> duty, uh, kun, usa, yachap, yachat, uh, kun, yo. So my contribution for new meditation building one thousand dollars. And Star Mr Edward and Dokin family from Houston, Texas, one thousand dollars. Uh, this morning, <clears throat> yes, the Henry's Nolan's family is five hundred dollars. Now it is the second sadhu, right? Kevin and she, Kevin she, and win my own five hundred dollars. And so me oh, and Gateway King families five hundred dollars. And Mr. Fit and Nan's family five hundred dollars. And Uang King and daughter one thousand thirty dollars and thirty one cents. What's mean sadhu? Uh, sadhu is not, it's not Burmese language, it's not Thai language. Sadhu is mean the Buddha language, Bali language. It's mean sadhu, so well done, well done, well done, great, 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 excellent. That's the meaning of sadhu. So we say sadhu. <coughs> You is getting married to to a sympathetic choice. So oh yeah, Buddhist. We do we perform some meritorious deed. <clears throat> and sometimes we see others perform meritorious deed. We feel happy and proud of them. And we say, Sadhu, it says we gain merit. So in our lifetime, to succeed, <clears throat> to succeed our spiritual goal, what we need to do? If you are not healthy, you cannot do anything. So we need the physical energy physical energy. To have a good heart, you have to, <clears throat> you have to eat healthy food, do some exercise, and to purify our mind from greed, anger, delusion, stress, and so on. And then you will gain physical energy. The second one we need to gain mental energy. Mental energy. This mental energy is especially we practice meditation to gain this enlightenment. 
to achieve our spiritual goal. So we need the mental energy. It's not easy, but we keep practice. Don't give up. So mentally strong. Even though you cannot reach to your spiritual goal today, maybe tomorrow. It's not this year, next year. So we keep practice. Don't give up. So we need the mental energies. This physical and mental energies are interrelated. When you gain mental energies, you will give physical energy too. So both is interrelated. We need to take care of this uh, mental and physical energies. Just <clears throat> gaining physical and mental energies is not enough. What we need to add, one, spiritual energy. The spiritual energy. The spiritual energy is what we have to do. So every day, is, so we are a small being, we have perfect organs. So you, today, is, <coughs> we have one day is 24 hours. We have many, many hours to <coughs> practice, to gain this uh, spiritual energy. Sometimes we do some generosity. This means we gain spiritual energies by the acts of giving, a contribution. So you can do contribution by donation every day. So what we have to do? Try to just observe these five precepts as a small it is. And then you gain spiritual energy. The sila, this energy is stronger than generosity. So we need to have both. After that, what we need? We need to uh, practice meditation, this mental development. This mental development is the this, this, uh, spiritual energy is the, the strongest merit. So we need to perform this dana sila bon because spiritual energy this uh, mental development is very easy. Very easy to develop this. You don't need to invest any dollars. You can do it at any terms. We know the techniques, the method, how to develop that. So the Buddha recommends us we got about this mental development, mental training. Since we get up in the morning, it's not since we get up, since we wake up in the morning, try to be aware of what happens to your body, what happens to your thought, what happens to your sensation, your feeling, your emotion, tries to be aware of that. Since then, you can practice the mental training. You can gain this uh, spiritual, this energy, since you wake up in the morning. Start all day long. Keep practice that. Mostly, we know how to practice that, but 
we forget. It's not getting used to. So to get used to what we need, keep practice and practice. So practice makes perfect. We need to do this every day. If you do this every day, you will know for yourself. You will know for yourself. Improvement. Mostly our body and minds always separate. So your bodies are sitting here. Your mind somewhere, mostly. This the mental training. We train our mind to be with is the body at this present moment. Try not to think about in the past and in the future. Try to be aware of this present moment. What happens to our bodies? Try to be aware of that. It's not only cross your legs, close your eyes, and practice sitting meditation. So any time, any moment, you can just <clears throat> develop this uh, mental training. Because mindfulness meditation, try to be mindful. For example, you are walking. When you're walking, be aware of the movement in your legs. And there's my mental note. When you're walking, just walking, walking, walking. So the movements in your legs, the noting mind, should be simultaneously at the present moment. So you want noting, for example, you know walking about a few seconds. You will gain concentration for a few seconds. This means your mind will be free from greed, anger, delusion for a few seconds. If you be able to practice that for one minute, you <coughs> will gain concentration for one minute. Did your mind <coughs> free from greed, anger, worry, and delusion, and so on for one minute? So keep practice that. If we practice every day, we got about the walking. You would know for yourself. Mostly, since we get up in the morning and you fall asleep, we walk many, many steps. If you don't practice meditation, you will not go even one step. See that? One day is many, many thousand steps. We are walking. This means lack of mindfulness. So try Just to be aware of every movement, every step. Do this every day to get used to, and you will know for yourself almost every step you'll be able to aware of that. This means you will gain the spiritual energy. Your mind should be with your body. This mind and matters to be together at the present moment. That's why all of you try the best you can. It's the Buddhists guide us this very simple and easy techniques. Just be mindful. Just be mindful. And keep practice.
and then you will gain spiritual energy. So all the all of you try to fulfill this uh, physical energies, mental energies, as well as spiritual energies, and gain your spiritual goal in this life. Thank you for your attention. Okay, today is the 1 p.m. We're going to have some meeting.